Welcome to Pad of the Week. I'm here with Michael Whiteside with the DFW Humane Society. So Michael, tell us about this little one here. Uh, this is Parrot. Parrot um, is two months old and she came in with her siblings, Pirate and Sailor. Um, Pirate is also a tabby um, and then Sailor is a red tabby, red and white tabby. Um, but they're about two months old um, and they came in as a litter. Um, and so they'll be getting um, spayed and neutered here shortly and then they'll be ready to go home. Okay, and so do you guys know what brought them here? Well, we're actually entering kitten season right now. Um, from now through the end of the summer, um, cats are breeding regularly, so we'll see a lot of kittens come in and out of the shelter throughout the summer months, um, which is why I wanted to show off Parrot here because we're gonna have a lot of kittens um, that are gonna be looking for homes here in the next few weeks, so it'd be great for somebody to come in and, and find a perfect kitten for their home. Mike, tell us about this one here. Who is this? This big guy here is Jack. He is about two years old. Um, he was actually um, adopted from us about a year ago, and then the owner um, had to return him due to a change in lifestyle. Um, so he's back looking for his forever home. Um, he loves um, toys. He loves running. He loves um, playing with people. He's a really friendly dog. Um, he's definitely um, still got a little bit of activity in him. He's an Australian Shepherd mix, so he's going to definitely want a lot of exercise. So, you know, a family or an individual that gets out regularly has a backyard will be great um, for Jack to get rid of some of that energy and help him um, get his exercise. Okay, so Michael, who is this lovely dog that we have here? She's beautiful. She, she is gorgeous. She's, this is Abigail. She's um, about four years old, um, and she was adopted from us when she was a puppy, and her owner um, recently became homeless and was unable to take care of her any longer, so she asked if she could return her, and so we took her back in, um, and so we're going to just need to find a good home for her. Okay, so what type of home would Abigail be good for? Uh, well, at four years old, she still has a lot of energy. Um, she's probably going to need a little bit of extra uh, TLC and, and attention to training, um, but she's really sweet. And from everything that we've heard from the previous owner, she loves um, other pets, she loves kids, she loves all people. Um, she obviously loves treats. <laughs> um, so, I mean, she's going to make a great pet for anybody. Um, it may just be one of those that takes a little extra, you know, a little extra work and, and attention um, to get her to follow commands and that type of thing. With Memorial Day approaching, we know that you have a special for the vets. Tell us a little bit about that special. Yeah, uh, annually, the week before Memorial Day, we always do free pets for military. Um, and this year it'll be May 23rd through 27th. Um, all pets in the building are going to be free to military, both active duty and retired. Um, and it's really an effort to honor their service, um, but also um, in a way to help out vets because a lot of them can suffer from anxiety, stress, um, emotional issues. Um, and pets, studies have shown that pets can really help reduce those stress hormones and help people come out of their shell and become less introverted. So it's a great way to really honor their service and you know, maybe help someone out at the same time. Thank you, Michael. So with these pets and many more, you can find them at the Animal Care Campus. This has been your Pet of the Week. Back to you, Thomas. All right, thanks, Allie, for filling in while JP was away. The Animal Care Campus is located at 4140 Valley View Lane. It is open Tuesday through Friday from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. Then on Saturday, the hours are 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Also, check out the websites you see on your screen.